Nick with Overland Pros. Today I'm doing an unboxing of one of our new Anza 1400 series rooftop tents. Very excited about this tent. We put a lot of effort into designing this tent, giving it some of the great features that we think you will love, hopefully as much as we do. Um, so, so far all I've done is basically cut the box off of it. Um, first thing you'll notice is regular tents have skinny cover, cover straps with single D-rings. These have double thick, wide, two inch, double D-ring straps with Velcro. What that'll do is keep your tent from losing its straps when you're driving through the desert. You start to get dust in the straps and the Velcro comes off. You don't want that to happen. So we went with extra heavy duty straps. Same straps we feature on our Monza 2000 and Mojave Explorer 1400 series. So moving on, we've got a 0.85, 85 thou thick floor. We've got D-rings on the bottom to hang the accessories from. Shoes, whatnot, whatever you feel like hanging. Let me open this thing up. We've got regular side tensioning Velcro straps. As this is a brand new tent, it's a little tight, as they all are. Once it gets a little heat on it, it'll settle in just right. Here we have our standard aluminum extruded mounting track. Here's our accessory bag. Inside it. We have our Mounting points that slide inside the tracks, the sheet metal screws to secure the tracks of the tent, the brackets to bolt to the bottom of the tent to mount the ladder. This tent comes with a sliding ladder. We also offer a telescoping ladder as an option for those that prefer it. It comes with a regular open-ended wrench, as well as a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Nice touch. So some of the features about our Anza 1400 tent that we feel are unique that make it so special. You'll notice there's no side windows. Anybody that's had a rooftop tent has probably had experience with putting the spring rods in when it's on top of the vehicle. It can be a real pain in the rear. The spring rods, while they look nice, are very impractical. Um, this tent has been designed so you don't have to use them. We actually have more window space with this tent than with a regular tent with side windows. Not having to use the spring rods is a big time saver in the put up and take down of the tent. Optional rain fly. This is something that is not necessary, but for people that camp in very, very harsh weather, you can put this rain fly on if you want, give you a little extra peace of mind. The tent is completely waterproof without it. I won't run one of these on my tent. We have loops here on the top of our rain fly. What this allows you to do is to roll this rain fly up so it's out of the way. So we roll it up. Now you don't have to worry about the rain fly getting in the way. You've got loops for solar panels, hanging towels off the top of your tent, whatever you feel like you might need to hang. We have quick release buckles on the side so you can take the rain fly off if you wish very easily. Also, we sell spare buckles and straps should you want to hang laundry or anything else off the side of the tent. See how easy the rain fly comes off. And here is 
without the rain fly. This is our Pride and Joy Bianza. It's only available in gray, with red stitching. The optional annex is also gray. And our favorite feature, especially mine, about this tent is the ventilation. I love to go to Death Valley. If you like to go somewhere hot, you always appreciate ventilation. And a tent with side windows doesn't have near the ventilation that this does. Once again, we do include spring rods. If you prefer the look of the door propped out like this, you're welcome to use them. Frankly, we feel the best thing to do, you want to get to camp, set your tent up quick, get on to enjoying your evening. Just forget the spring rods, roll this up out of the way. some air inside your tent. So take a look at this. You'll see how much ventilation you actually have. You've got 180 degrees of airflow as well as visibility and no spring rods to make setup or tear down cumbersome. zippers on the mosquito netting so if you decide you want to put the side windows up while you're inside the tent you can zip this down and then zip the sides up. We also have ties so you can roll this up. Tie these up nice and neat so they don't get in the way. Weather turns bad. Simply zip up the mosquito netting, zip up the outside, and now you're ready for the harsh weather. We feature a three inch thick mattress, not two and a half, like other manufacturers. We feel that extra half an inch goes a long way in your comfort. We've of course got our travel cover, goes on the outside of the tent, as well as every one of our tents comes with a shoe bag. This shoe bag is made from the same 1200D PVC waterproof fabric that our tent cover is made out of, just like our awning covers. It is waterproof, so if you do hang it outside, as long as you close the flap, your shoes will not get wet. We have our standard two-piece sliding ladder. We do also offer an extension if your vehicle is, uh, is lifted or otherwise. As I said, we're not a fan of spring rods, but if you are, we still do include them. So you can set them up uh, should you want to. Tent is 280, 280G, waterproof canvas. There's your four spring rods.
inside. We even did include the handles in case you uh, need a little help getting inside the tent from the ladder. You can pull on these, give yourself a little, little help. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Um, website is overlandpros.com, at overlandpros on Instagram. And our uh, email address is overlandpros at gmail.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.